And what's your name? Isaiah. What's your name? EJ. So Clorox and Humble Design brought us to Detroit to meet the Baker family. And uh, I let Amala do the interviews. <laughs> Elijah is the youngest at six, Isaiah is in the middle at eight years old, and obviously the oldest brother is Jacoby, who as he said is, and this is their mother, Shabbat. What is it like having three kids? Pros and cons. <laughs> Facts. And Shabay works really hard to provide for her kids. Since Amala decided that playing was more important than finishing her interview, what do y'all do to help out your mom around the house? Uh, one time we washed the dishes, but my mom one time, wash the dishes. Fell. I got so caught up in them saying they only helped with the dishes one time that I completely missed. The next thing he said. But my mom one time, he dishes. Fell. Did you catch that? But my mom one time, he dishes. Fell. That's the same way Amala washes dishes. She doesn't. What do you cook? <laughs> Whatever she wanna cook. <laughs> Whatever she wanna cook? Okay, that sounds like she's the only one cooking. What do you do to help out your mommy around the house? So even though they help with only 0.0% of the chores, these are really happy kids. They're having fun, they're playing, they have a mom that loves them, and you would have no idea that just a little over a year ago, they were homeless. And it all started with a phone call from Shabay's mom. When she told me that she had heart disease, um, I decided to come back home. A little bit, I was kind of getting homesick anyway, so I thought we, we could help each other. Unfortunately, her mom was also an alcoholic, so the money that she was chipping in to help her mom pay rent, her mom wasn't putting all that to the rent. When I realized that she wasn't really giving this man the money, I knew trouble was going to come. I hope I was going to have some time, you know, to save up my own personal money. Time ran out shortly after she found out what was going on. And before you know it, they were evicted and instantly her family was homeless. All through this process of me staying in a hotel, you know, wondering how me and my kids are going to eat, and, you know, how they're going to get back and forth to school. You got a one year old, you got to travel with. You gotta worry about how you gonna. You don't know what the next day gonna bring. Fortunately, though, the next days actually brought help. She told me that she swallowed her pride, went to her supervisors, and told them what was going on. And surprisingly, they stood by me 24/7, like as if I was their own child. Now here's the thing, though, right? The home isn't furnished yet, so Clorox teamed up with Humble Design, a nationwide nonprofit that basically pimps out the homes of formerly homeless families. That means they get in furniture, professional interior design, and a sparkling Clorox clean. So, while the Baker family was away, uh, we got to work. marries my love of design with actually giving back to the world and I wish that my parents were still alive so that they could see it. I absolutely get excited every day when I get to come to work. I just love it. It's my favorite thing I've ever done. And now for the moment that I've been waiting for this whole video. Yes! Oh, so <laughs> Open your eyes! Oh my god! 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 Oh my Contagious and Cheve was just she was just so thankful when you get people that's willing to go over and beyond to help you I'm very grateful for everything 
This was such an incredible experience. I, um, I've never been a part of anything like this, so I gotta thank Clorox again and Humble Design for just bringing us out and letting us be a part of this. Doing something positive in somebody else's life and the life of, of a family, it's nothing like it.